Hiya, this is the first video for the further trig and modeling pack. Doesn't get better than a bit of further, man. Right, further trigonometry. So we've got a few lessons in here. There's five lessons in total. So we'll look at the first one, which is the addition formula. Uh, right, so. Just ignoring the starter, we've got these equations here and they're really important what well, people get confused and they think that sine of a plus b is just the same as saying it's sine a plus sine b so if you look at this example here it wants us to disprove it it wants us to show without a shadow of doubt that it's all wrong so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a couple of numbers for A and B to make it easy. So let's have, or we'll do the same as what the completed pack has done. It makes sense to use those numbers. So if we say that A is 30 degrees and B is 60 degrees, that way when we add them together we get a nice 90. So if I look at the left hand side of it, then that sign of plus b. So then the left hand side is really sine of 30 plus 60 degrees, which is sine of 90. Now we know that from the graph that the sine of 90 is 1. So that's done. Right, so let's look at the right hand side now. So the right hand side is sine a plus sine b. So that will be sine of 30 plus sine of 60. Now if you put that in your calculator, sine 30 is a half, but sine 60 is root 3 over 2. So what I've got is 1 plus root 3 over 2. And if you look, they're not the same, are they? So the left hand side isn't the same as the right hand side because my 1 isn't the same as my 1 plus root 3 over 2. So I've disproved it. So therefore, I've disproved. The identity and it's really really important to know that sine of a plus b isn't sine a plus sine b and sine of or say cos of a plus b isn't cos of a plus cos of b then we have these these compound angular formulas they're called so they're called compound angular formulas and they're quite interesting um, weirdly enough, because each line actually represents two equations. So like sine of a plus b is, now the plus is on the top, so the sine's on the top. So I'll look at the sine that's on the top on the right hand side. So that would be sine a cos b plus cos a sine b because I'm choosing the signs on the top. But if I wanted sine of a minus b, the minus is on the bottom. I'm pointing to the boys if you can see me. The minus is on the bottom. So when I choose the sign on the right hand side, I need to choose the bottom sign. So that would be the bottom sign on the right hand side is a minus. So that would be sine A cos B minus cos A sine B. I'll do it with a tan one because if you look on the tan, they've got different, they're all upside down and all sorts going on. So if I choose tan A plus B, hang on, getting, getting me capitals again. So tan of A plus B, 
So that one's on the top. The plus sign is on the top. There it is. So I'm going to choose the top signs on the right hand side. So that will be tan A plus tan B all over 1 minus, because that one's on the top, tan A, tan B. Whereas if I wanted, make that a bit more legible, if I wanted tan of A minus B, because the minus is on the bottom, I choose the bottom sign. So that would be tan A minus tan B over 1 plus, because the minus is on the, the plus is on the bottom there, tan A, tan B. So I hope, I mean, it's not, to be fair, this isn't easy stuff and you'll get quite confused with it. Well, that's fine. It's just the way it is. Just practice makes it easier for us. So I did one with sine and I did one with tan, just showing the two different options that you can have for the equation. So cos works exactly the same. And if you look the, on the, the signs on the cos, they're opposites. So cos of A plus B, because it plus is on the top, is cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. Um, right, so let's have a look then. So that looks like, so the example says cos of x plus pi by 3. So I'm going to use cos of A plus B. So I know that that is cos A cos B minus, because the plus is on the top on the left, so I'll take the plus, the top sign on the right, which is a minus, sine A, sine B. So A is X, and B is pi by 3. So my cos of X plus pi by 3 is actually cos X cos pi by 3 minus sine X sine pi by 3. Now, cos of pi by 3 is a half. So that would be a half of cos x. Sine of pi by 3, according to the completed pack, is root 3 over 2. So that would be minus root 3 over 2 sine x. So let's put the sine here. So that's where they come from, the half and the root 3 over 2. Yeah. So there's one for you to have a go at. So give it a go and just see if you get the same as this. So where's my sine equation? Uh, so I've got sine A plus, plus B is sine A cos B plus cos A sine b minus, now this is sine of a minus b, isn't it? So that's going to be sine a cos b minus, because I'm doing the same sign there on the bottom, aren't I? Uh, cos a sine b. So I've got sine a cos b plus cos a sine b minus sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. Does anything disappear? So the sine a cos b's disappear and I'm doubling up on a, a cos a sine b. So I've got two cos a sine b. Thinking about my capitals here. Thinking about capitals for cohol. Uh, there we go. Now, in the olden days, you needed to remember um, what the exact values were, but you can just pop, pop them in your calculator, so there's no real reason. So that table is just there now. What time are we? So we're 9 minutes 45, so it's a good point to stop there. Okay. Well, I'll start the next video in a second.